20 is a dice game that focuses on sums to 20. So we're going to use these five dice and the goal is to roll as close to or equal to 20 without going over 20. This game focuses on a second grade standard of adding sums fluently to 20. In this game, we are playing with two players. However, you can play with multiple players. Five dice are used for this game and each player is going to get up to four rolls to get 20 or as close to 20 as possible without going over. In our game, we're going to play five rounds. However, it's up to everybody to play, everybody to decide before they play on how many rounds they wanna go. I believe Dan's directions in this game is nine rounds. So as long as the players decide ahead of time how many rounds you're good to go. Okay, so hockey nets, they control the dice. Controlled. And so when you are adding, your child's adding, it's very, very important that they are using efficient strategies to add. So our first and second graders are expected to be able to know their um, sums to 10, and our kindergartners are able to fluently know their sums to 5. That's in the standard. So I would expect a kindergartner to be able to start seeing 3 and 1 and recognizing it's 4 automatically. I would also be able to, I would also expect our first and second graders to see a group of 10. Player one is going to take first roll. Okay, again, we have up to four rolls possible. So with this, if I am adding, here is a 10, this is a nine. If I take one of these, that makes a 10, and one more is 11. So, so far, right now, I have 21 points, which is way too many. So I have the option of rolling, re-rolling all of my dice. I also have the option of taking one or more dice and rolling the rest. So I think I'm going to take these two and leave them. Now, once I do this, they are frozen for the rest of my rolls on my turn. I may not take them out um, and swap them. Okay, so roll two. Let's see, so that's seven. Oops, let's make a five. Five and four is nine. That is close, 10 and nine is 19. That is very, very close to 20. I think I'm going to freeze and make that a 20. I mean, um, make this as close to 20 as possible. So on my first turn, I scored 19 points, okay? And you will have to add all of your dice. So you don't have the option of only adding a few. Player two's turn. Hmm. A five, six, it's 11 and 12. Player two could take that point, that 12 points, and play it safe, or they can uh, re-roll some, or you know what, they can re-roll all of them. Let's do that. This is my roll two. Let's see, so, let's see, that is 18, ooh, 19, 20. You see how fast I added that? It's really important, parents at home, that you are, um, watching how your children put the dice together in combinations and um, having those conversations about what was the most efficient way for them to add. So I did my eight and two and I automatically knew that was a 10 and I know that's 10. So I am not rolling anymore. Player two has 20 points. So this one right here indicates that this is the first round, 20 points, round two, okay? Again. So, I like the 10, 18, oops, we're over by one. So I think I'm gonna leave the 10 there. I'm gonna take these. Hmm, now I'm at 20. Five, too many. I think I'm going to, hmm, this is a risky move. I don't like any of these. And you wanna ask your child why they decided not to roll. Sometimes they just might say, well, I'm gonna take a chance. Other times they might say, for example, in this, I would say if I take that, then that's 15, and I only have five more points to 20. That's another conversation to ask is how many, if you took those three dice, how many more points or how many total could you have here to get to 20? When I, add, when I 
do adding and subtracting and I have 15 or 20 minus 15, I will actually add, start at 15 and add up to get to 20, whereas some people will do 20 minus 15. So we all tend to gravitate towards our preferences and what's more efficient for us. Having those conversations um, is really important. I think, uh, so that would only allow me to have five points on both these dice total. So I don't like those options. So I'm gonna roll again. Okay, let's see. 15, 18, I think I'm good with 18. So I'm going to go ahead and add. So it's also important that your second grader does this adding here. And I know parents, uh, many, many of you, when you were in school, would do 17. We here carry the one, which is really not a one, that is actually a 10. And 10, 20, 30 would wanna do this. However, this method is not a second grade standard. This is actually a fourth grade standard. This is called the standard algorithm. And in fourth grade is when students should be able to apply this because there's a lot of work to go into building a foundation of understanding what regrouping means um, in the end of first grade and then carried on into second and third grade. So here, instead of doing the standard algorithm, we want our second and third graders and first graders as well, adding the tens, which is 20, and then adding the ones, which is 17. So now we have 20 plus 17, which is 37. So that's a very, very important skill for them to do. Okay, player two. Again, it's very, very tempting, I know parents, to just do the standard algorithm or just teach this method, we call it a procedure, to our students, and we don't want it to become procedural. We want them to truly understand this and not just be able to tell us, well, that's where the group of 10 was. We want them to understand working with 10s and 1s. So we're going to continue with this method over here. So this is 40 plus 15. 40 plus 15 is 55. Okay. sum is greater than 20, then the score equals zero. So that's what happened here. Even though our sum is greater than 20, we do want to go through that process and ask your children to prove to you that that's 20 or greater than 20. So let's see, are there any combinations that are easily here? Some people might know three groups of uh, of six is 18. I'm going to take these two to make 19, 20, and then 20 plus three is 23, which is this 23 is greater than 20. So our score has to be zero. <laughs> too much that's 10 and that's 9 score of this because this is 10 19 22 is greater than 20 so the score is 0 
until wins. And that's how you play. Save 20. Enjoy.